はイギリスにあらゆる種類の植物が満ちあふれた壮大な庭園であるこちらにいるのがリチャード2世すべての中でひときわ素晴らしい一本の木だ地中深く根を下ろしているがその心には邪悪な病が広がっているそれはここにいる3人の雑草のような男たちブシーバロットグリーンの横島ないゲジエとオベッカのせいでもある。こちらの大きな日本の木は王のおじたち一方の木は間もなくこの世に別れを告げるジョン・ノル・ドーンとその息子ヘンリー・ボーリング・ポーク彼はリチャードに代わってやがて王になる身だもう一方の木はデューク・オブ・ヨークとその息子オーマーだ二人とも初めはリチャードに忠実であるがやがて彼を見捨ててボーリング・ブロークにつくのであるすべての中で最も美しい花リチャードの物悲しい妃リザベルがここにいるそしてここにはこの庭の中で最もひどい植物がある他人の心に毒を注ぎ王に対する反逆へと導く男ノース・ハンブランドとその息子パーセイがそれであるこれからあなた方にこのイギリスという庭園の案内をして差し上げようあなた方のお目に映ることであろう壮大に茂っていく木や花もあればまた一方で枯れ果てていくものもあるのだまず初めにウィンザー宮殿での王のいとこのボーリングブロークと彼の敵モーグレイとの口論から始めることにしよう。オールドジョノゴールド、タイムのダンカスター、ーハッシュダーゴールドンとダイオーサンバン、ブロードヒダーヘンリーボーリンブロック、ダイボールドサン、キアトメイクグッドボイスレスライトビュー、アゲンストデューコーブロック、トーマスモーグレイ、アイハブマイディー、デン、コールデン、トゥアープレゼンス。メリーヒアーズ、オブハピーデイズ。Before my greatest sovereign, my most loving dreams. Each day is too better a n o t h e r happiness until the heaven ending earth's good heart as I know the title to your crown. We thank you both. Yet, one but brother does, as they were pirated by the cause you come, namely, to appeal each other high tree. Cousin b o r i n b r o k e What dost thou object against the Duke of Norfolk, Thomas Mowbray? First, heaven is a record to my speech. Come, I appear t to this princely presence. Now, Thomas Mowbray, do I turn to thee and mark my breathing well? For what I speak, my body shall make good upon this earth. O my divine soul, answer it in heaven. Thou art traitor and miscreant, too good to be so, and too bad to be rich. Not my cold word here to my dear. The blood is hot that must be cooled for this. I do defy him and the speed of him, cloak him as slanderous coward and a, and a brand. By all my hopes, most boldly does he die. Have left me so much strength as to take up my own a n d b o n e then stood! I picked up. And by my sword, I swear, which century led my l i f e foot on my shoulder, I l o v e t h a r e in any fair degree or s p a r s d a n of n i g h t l y t i r e What doth our cousin lay to m o b r a y s c h a r Look what I speak, my life shall claim it true. That m o b r a y has received 8,000 nobles in name of plenty for your highest soldiers, the which he hath detained for a l o s i n g brothers like a pulsator and injurious villain. Thomas of Norfolk, 
What says thou to this? Oh, let my soul be found of a face and be, and be the other a little while be dead till I have told this and thou his blood. How could that good man hate so far a liar? Oh, brave. Impossible. Ah, oh, our eyes and ears. Why he, my brother, nay, my kingdom's dear. Was this but my father's brother's son? Now, by my scepter's oath, I make a vow. Such labor nearness to our sacred blood should nothing privilege him, nor partialize the unsuiting firmness of my upright soul. He is our subject, Mowbray. So art thou free speech and fearless I to thee. Then, now, hold him good, and go up to thy heart. Through the fourth passage of thy throat, thou liest. Three parts of that redid I had for curse, this part I did it to his highness soldier. The other part without thy by consent, for that my soul in need was in my dead, upon the remainder of a dear account, since last I went to France to fetch his queen. Now, swallow down that lie. It issues from rank of my villain, recurrent and most degenerate traitor. Which in myself I bound in will defend, and interchangeably how down my gate upon this overwhelming traitor's truth. Shrot kindled, gentlemen, be ruled by me. Forget, forgive, conclude, and be agreed. Our doctors say this is no man to bleed. Good uncle, let this end where it began. We'll come, the Duke of Norfolk. You, your son. To be a make peace shall become my age. Throw them, my son, the Duke of Norfolk stage. And Norfolk throw down his. When now? When? Obedience be I should not be again. No, folk, throw down we beat. There is no boot. Myself I throw dirt to me at thy foot. My life thou shalt command, but not my sin. I am disgraced, impeached, and baffled here. Pierced to the tall with slandered venom spear, the which no bam can cure, but his heart blood which breathes this poison. Rage must be withstood. Give me his gaze. Ryan's leg. Let her stay. Yea, but no changing his spot. Take but I my shame. And I design my gauge. My dear, dear lord. My honor is my life. Both growing man. Take honor from me. And my life is done. Then, dear my leech, my honor, let me try. In that I live. And for that will I die. Cousin, throw up their gaze till you begin. For good, defend my soul, good, such do you see. Shall I see the threat for in a far dust sight? Oh, with pale vigor, the I beast my height. Before this out there, does that? We were not born to sue, but to command which. Since we cannot do to make you friends, be ready as your life shall answer it at Coventry upon St. Lambert's Day. There shall your souls and lances arbitrate the swelling difference of your settled hate. Marshal! Commander of Sarah Towns, be ready to direct these home arms. Majesty's approach. 
miracle we have done. For that our kingdom's earth should not be soiled with that beer blood which it had fostered. And for our eyes to hate that dire aspect of civil wounds, proud that with never sword. And for we think the eagle in the pride of sky are sparing, and I'm just thought with rabble hating envy set on you. To make our peace, therefore, we
can change the moons and bring the times about. My oil dried lamp and time bewitched light shall be extinct with age and endless night. Why, uncle, thou hast many years to live. But not a minute, king, that thou canst give. Had it been a stranger, not my Cousin, child. Farewell, and uncle, bid him so. Six years we banish him, and he shall go. <laughs> Take my leave of you. Thy grief is but thy absence for a time. Joy, absent. Grief is pleasant for the time. What is six winters? They are quickly gone. To men in joy, but grief makes one hour thin. Call it a travel that thy takes for pleasure. Keep thy necessity to reason thus. There is no virtue like necessity. Think not the king to banish thee, but thou the king. Come, come, my son, I'll bring thee on thy way. Then, England's ground, farewell. Though banished, I am a true born Englishman. ボーリングブローズはロックナン韓国外通報となる。さて、アイルランドを攻撃を準備をしているリチャードは、おじのジョンドズゴーンズが今まさにこの世に別れを告げようとしていることを耳にする。やがて彼が亡くなったとき、リ
immediately. The lining of his coffers shall make coats to decor soldiers for these ice walls. Come, gentlemen, let's all go visit him. Pray God we may make haste and come to it. Amen. <laughs>
pounding with a shame, with inky brots and rotten parchment bones. That England that was won to conquer others hath made a shameful conquest of itself. Old Buddha's candle vanish with my life. How happy then my ensuing death.
love they to live like love and honor her. I do beseech your majesty, impute his words to wayward sickliness and age in him. He loves you all my life and holds you dear as Henry Boring broke while he here. Right, you say true. As Boring broke, love, so his. As theirs, so mine. And all be as it is. My liege, all would go and commend him to your majesty. What says he? Nay, nothing. Always said, his tongue is now a stringless instrument. Words, life, and all. All would like a star has been. The yoke, the next step, me bankrupt so. Though death be poor, it ends a mortal war. Thou ripest fruit, first. Falls. And so that he, his time is spent, our pilgrimage must be so much for that now, for our Irish wars and for these great affairs, do ask some terse towards our assistance. We do cease to us the great. Coin, revenues, and movables whereof our Uncle Gold did stand possessed. How long shall I be patient? Oh, how long shall tender our duty make me suffer wrong? Oh, Richard, you is too far gone with grief. Why, Uncle? What's the matter? Oh, my liege. Seek you to seize and drive into your hands the royalty and rights of vanished boring broke. Now, for God, God forbid, I say too, if you do wrongly seize boring broke's rights, you pluck a thousand dangers on your head, you lose a thousand well disposed hearts, and bid my tender patience to those thoughts which honor and allegiance cannot think. Think. What you will. We seize into our hands his bread, his goods, his money, and his lands. I will not be pride, wife, my niece. Farewell. Come on, our queen. Tomorrow must we part. Be merry for our time of stay short. Seek no shelter to your border stone, 
we feel the wind sit so upon our sails, and yet we strike not but scary pills. I have, from the poor man, a very everything, received intelligence that Henry Bolingbroke, with a tall tip, three thousand men of war, is making hither with all the experience, and shortly means to touch our northern shore. If then we shall shake off our slavish yoke, are we with me in post-graves power? But if you faint as you fearing to do so, stay and be secret, and myself will go to horse, to horse! ボーリングブローク帰国の知らせが届く彼はジョンのゴーンと残した土地財産の権利を主張しその彼にノースハンブランドをはじめとして何人かの者たちが加担しているということなんだ
Come, cousin, I will dispose of you. Gentlemen, go wash up your men and meet me presently at at Bagli. All is uneven and everything is left at six and seven. Against thy sovereign, I am a heavenly boring bloke, 
My father's goose are all this brain and soul. What will you have me do? I am a savage. I challenge law. Attorneys are denied me. Therefore, personally, I lay my claim to my inheritance of free descent. The noble duke has been too much abused. It's time to grace a book to the human right. Thanks, my bags and diamonds are made great. My laws of England, let me tell you this. I have had feeling of my cousin's wrong, but in this kind to come in blaming arms, to find out right with wrong, it may not be. And you that do abet him in this kind, cherish rebellion and our rebels all. The noble duke has sworn his coming is but for his own, and for the rights of that, we all have a strongly son to give him aid. And let him may I see joy in that strength that us. Well, well, I see the issue of these arms. I cannot mend it. I must need confess, because my power is weak and all ill left. If I could, by him that gave me life, I would attach you all and make you stood so unto the sovereign mercy of the king. But since I cannot be it known unto you, I do remain as Newton. So fare you well. Unless you please to enter in the castle, there repose you for this night. Another idol that we will accept, but we must win a place to go with us to Bristol Castle, which they say is held by Bristol, green and their complexes, the caterpillars of the Commonwealth, which I have sworn to read and pack away.
I weep for joy to stand upon my kingdom once again. Dear Earth, I do salute thee with my hand, though rebels wound thee with their horses' hoofs, as a long-parted mother with her child, praise fondly with her tears, and smiles in meeting. So, weeping, smiling, greet, I greet my earth, and do be favors with my royal hands. Mock not my senseless conjuration laws. This earth shall have a being, and these stones prove armed soldiers. A native king shall fall down the power of the arms. Fear not, my lord. That power that made you king hath power to keep your king in spite of all. He means, my lord, that we were too remiss while it's morning broke. Through our security grows strong and great in substance and in power. Yes, come the whole cannon! Knowest thou not that when the searching eye of heaven is dead behind the grove and like the lower world, then thieves and robbers range abroad and seen in murders and in outrage boldly here. But when from under this terrestrial ball he fires the proud top of the eastern pines and darts his right to every getty hall, then murders. Children and detest detested sins, the croak of night being plucked from off their backs, stand bare and naked, trembling at themselves. So, then this thief, this traitor, boring broke, shall see. Us rising in our throne, the east, his treason will sit dancing his face, not able to endure the sight of day, but self affrighted, tremble at his sin. Not all the water in the last rude sea can wash the balm off from an anointed king. The breath of worldly men cannot depose the deputy elected by the Lord. For every man that born in broke has pledged to this shrewd steel against the golden crown. God, what is richer, has been heavenly paid a glorious angel. Then his angels fight. Weak men must fall, for heaven still guards our right. Welcome, my lord. How far off lies their power? No one here, no one farther off, my gracious lord, than this weak arm. This comfort guides my tongue and bids me speak of nothing but despair. One day too late, I fear me no, Lord, hath clouded all thy happy days on earth. Oh, call but yesterday, this time return, and thou shalt have twelve thousand fighting men. Today, today, unhappy day too late, all throws thy joys, friends, fortune, and thy state. For oh, all the wisdom, hearing the word death, are born to Bolingbroke, dispersed and fled. Come on, my reach. Why looks we have raised so pale? But now the blood of twenty thousand men did triumph in my face. And they are fled, and still so much blood did I come again. Have I not reason to repair and dead? All oh, souls that will be saved fly from my side, for time has set abroad.
not up on my pride. Come on, marriage. Remember who you are. I have fooled myself. Am I not king? Awake, thou coward majesty, thou sleepest. Is not the king's name twenty thousand names? Oh, um, my name. A puny subject strikes at thy great glory. Look not to the ground, ye favorite of a king. Ah, leave not high, hide your thoughts. I know my uncle York had far enough to serve our town. But who comes here? More health and heartless beside my liege, that my care to in tongue deliver him. Mine ear is open, and my heart prepared. The worst is what you not thou canst unfold. Say, is my kingdom lost? Glad am I that your highness is so armed to bear the tidings of calamity. Like an unseasonable stormy day, which makes the silver rivers drown their shores, as if the world were all dissolved to fear. So high above the limit swell the lake of warning rock, covering your fearful land with hard black steel and hearts harder than steel. White bears have armed their sin and hairless curse against thy majesty. Boys with women's voices strive to speak big and grab their female joints in stiff unwieldy arms against thy crown. Both young and old rebel and all goes worse than I have heard to tell. Too well. Too well does this the tale so ill. What is become of Bushy? Where is Green? I warrant they have made peace with Boring Brook. Peace have they made indeed, my lord. Oh! Villains! Barbers! Down the without the redemption!
save his majesty. Sorrow and grief of heart makes him speak fondly like a flat man. Yet he will come. Stand all apart and show your duty to his majesty. My gracious lord, fair cousin, you debase your princely knee to make the base earth proud of kissing it up. Cousin up, your heart is up, I know. Thus high a twist, although your knee be low, my gracious lord, I come, but for my own, your own is yours. What you will have, I'll give and willing to. So, do we must what force will have us to. C'est on to us, London, cousin, is it so? Yea, my good lord. Then, I must not say no. Madam, I think it's well that the heart's cold 
But thou shouldst please me better, O oh, that thou weep. I could weep, madam, for doing you do real good, and I could see, for the weeping do me good, and never borrow any fear of thee. But stay, here comes the gardener. Let's step into the shadow of this tree. Say, talk of the day. Go! Find the rocks, young dunkings, apricots. Which, like unruly children, make the sires choose with oppression of their total weight. Give some supporters to the ascending trees. Go thou, and like an executioner, cut off the heads of too fast growing strength, that meet too lofty in our common wealth. All must be hidden in our government. Why shall we, in the context of a pair, keep low and foreign due proportion when our sea wall gun, that whole land is full of weeds? Our fair flower choked us and our foes and her swarmed in caterpillar. Oh, my right, peace. He that hath suffered this disordered thing has now himself met with a fall of thee. The wreaths in his broad spreading leaves did shelter that seemed him eating him to hold him up. A clutch up, root and all by boarding the throat. I mean, pushy and green. What? Are they? Yes, they are. And the boarding throat has seized the rest of the king. Oh, what pity is it that he had not so trimmed and dressed his land as he read his garden. We that time of year to wound the bark that's king of our fruit trees. Let's being overcrowded in suck and blood with the two much riches it could find itself. Had he done so to great and growing men, himself had borne the crown which rest of idle hours quite thrown down. What? Think you the king shall be deposed? Deposed, he's already deposed. Tis thou he will be. I am blessed with this. How dare thy father and son serve this unbreaking news? Why, dost thou say, King Richard is divorced? Say, where, when, and how came it on by this ill timing? Speak, thou hast! Pardon me, madam. Little joy have I to breathe this news. Yet, what I say, to King Richard, he's in the mighty hall of boring rock. Post you to London, and you will find it so. I speak no more than everyone does know. Come, lady, go to meet at London, London's king in Rome. Governor, who tells me this news, play go to the blood, the blood, may never grow. For we here, this tree falls a tear, here in this place. I'll set a bank of root, sour herbs of bread, root even for root. Here, shortly can be seen in the remembrance of a weeping queen. Richard, Koshini Kare no Okamo, boarding the broken yada. So stay boarding the broken yada. He gives his cocoa. ヘンリー四世になるのであるしかし悲しい別れを告げたリチャードは牢獄へと送られる
can be bowing broke. I come to thee from groom plucked riches, who with willing soul adopts thee heir and high better yield to the position of thy royal hand. Ascend his throne, descending now from him, and long live Henry, forth of that name. <laughs> In God's name, I'll ascend the regal throne. No, in God's forbid. What subject can give sentence on his king? And who comes here that is not richer subject? My lord of Bolingbroke here. Who? You bold king is a foul traitor to proud Bolingbroke's king. And if you crown him, let me prophesy the blood of English shall manure the crown and future it is grown for this foul act. He shall go sweep with tears and infidels and in his little feet to Mozart's walls shall kin with kin, kind with kind, confound disorder, fraud, fear and mutiny shall here inhabit and this land be called the key of Golgotha, dead men's skulls. Well, I'll be as you despair. And the boy of the of captive children, we are rich with you. My lord of this peace, we are told to keep him if they didn't bear a child. Oh, good man. Fetch his own wishes that he called him. He may surrender, so we shall proceed without suspicion. I'll be his conduct. Here, cousin, seize that crown. Here, cousin. Oh. 
on this side, my hand, and on that side, thine. Now, is this golden crown like a deep well that old bucket filling wilder? The empty air ever dancing in the air. The other down, unseen and full of water. That bucket down and full of tears am I drinking my griefs. Why, you man upon high! I thought you had been willing to resign my crown and I am. But still my griefs are mine. Still am I king of those. Are you contented to resign the crown? I. No. No! I for I must nothing be therefore no no why did I to be now mark me how I will undo myself I give this heavy weight from off my head and this unbidden star from my hand the pride and king be saved from out my heart. With my own tears, I wash away my blood. With my own hands, I give away my crown. With my own hand, deny my sacred state. With my own breath, relieve all duty at all. Oh, my mercy, I do forswear.
Richard says, and send him many years of sunshine days. What more he needs? No more. But not to read these accusations and these grievous crimes committed by your party and your followers against the state and prophets of this land, that by competing them, the souls of men may be that you are working to push. Must I do so? And must I rather up my read that for you? My lord, this touch read all these articles. My eyes are full of tears. I cannot see. And yet, salt water blinds them not so much. But they can see sort of traitor tears. Nay, if I turn my eyes upon myself, I find myself a traitor with others. And if my word be silent anything, then let it command the mirror of that face, that it may show me what a face I have. Go and fetch a looking glass. We know of this paper while the death has come. Sing! Thou torment me, and I come to hell. I did not go, my lord, go somewhere. Give me that blood, and there will I be. No deeper wrinkles yet. That sorrow struck so many blows upon the face of mine and made no deeper wounds. Oh, what a glass. Was this face the face that every day under his household roof did keep 10,000 men? Was this the face the price that can be made the holders weak. Is this the face which face so many bodies that all the trust are felt by falling rocks? As little glory is shining in the face, as bitter as a joy in the face. The shadow of your face. Say that again. The shadow of my sorrow. Ha. Let's see. Tis very true. My grief lies all within. And these external manners of lament are merely shadow to the unseen grief. They themselves with silence. In the torture of the Go, some of you, convey him to the tower. Thank 
I for the more vegetable and corn and chicken I find the time. My wife took plans from pens set all the pump. She came out on either like sweet May. And the most sweet is divided. Most sweet, most sweet. Now for me in France. I for me here. Come. Come and ruin sorrow to be free. We make war once more with it on the day. Once more. Adieu. Does it so pay? Now, hey, let me see the right. I know. No matter what you think, 
I will be satisfied. Let me see the way how you see the great part of me. It is not a problem against which, for some reasons, I will be saved. For some reasons, sir, I need to see. I fear. I fear. What should you fear? This is not the Boy, let me see the right thing. You see, pardon me. I make it so. I will be satisfied. Let me see the right thing. Was 
do rei me pode vir. I was a poor groom of dice table king. When thou wert king, who traveling towards York with much ador of men have got leave to look upon my sometimes the royal astral feet. Oh, how rich ever my heart when I beheld in London street that coronation when Roman broke, Roman, uh, Roman bar. That fools, that dumb so often past dusk, that fools, that <coughs> so carefully have drilled in your body. Tell me, gentle friend, Uh, when he and that he so proud as if he displeased and proud of me. So proud that boy broke over his back. That Jane hath ye bred from my royal hand. This hand hath he made him proud with cracking him. Would he not stumble? Would he not fall down? and break the neck of the proud man that is used on his back. Oh, give me thoughts. Why do I lay on thee? Since thou created to be all that man was born to bear. I was not made a horse. And yet, I bear burden like a spurred, gold, and tired by jolting boring broke. Herald, give place here tomorrow, you must say. If thou wast me, this time thou wast me. But my tongue dare put that my heart My lord, will praise you the fortune. Take the ring first. I tell you what you do. My lord, I dare not. Sir Piers of Ixton, for the entry came from the king, commands the contrary. Now tell us, take him, you Lancaster, and be. Thy own hand is thy death instrument. Mount, mount, 
my soul. Rising is up on high. On my cross, flesh sinks downward. to die as a slow bird as a royal bird full of power is filled Oh, that is what good. For oh, now the devil has told me I did well. Since the distance is chronicle. In hell. This dead king to the living king. And there.
でございましたここでスタッフの方を紹介いたしますスタッフの方あらしてください